If we take a view of the brain, we can see that the cortex has specialist areas making sense of what we are doing. When we see things, the area at the back of the brain is active. When we hear music, people talking, when we make our plans for the weekend or organise our learning, different specialist areas become active. What we now know is that although when you hear someone speak and the speech centres in the brain become active, they are not the only areas of the brain working. At any time, there is activity diffused across the brain, showing that for our best possible performance, we need the whole brain working in a cohesive and integrated way. In a similar way, whenever an ILP report indicates a tendency towards one sort of mental processing, there are always suggestions for activities to strengthen the lesser used pathways. As a teacher, you will find that both individuals and groups will show strong tendencies towards one way of learning. The aim of highlighting these trends is not to suggest that each person should be taught solely to their preferred strengths. Indeed, a rich multi-sensory environment benefits all learners and every teacher will have their own teaching styles. Rather, the ILP reports will provide important knowledge which can be drawn upon to support students when the going gets tough. To help pupils help themselves, to aid the organisation of groups for classes and projects, and to complement existing teaching methods. ILP has been designed to enhance teaching and learning by understanding how our brains work.